Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 the whole time. Click it, click it. I'm having a hard time having holy thoughts right now. This is really simple for me, and I suspect for a lot of people. If I let noise in my life, if, not, if I'm not praying, if I'm not uh, in the chapel, if I haven't gone to confession, if um, I let the world overtake my thoughts, it's impossible to, for me to hear his voice. I think life, it's busy, and a lot of times we don't take time to listen. Oh, my own um, busyness. Uh, my own impatience. I would say uh, me not taking the time to be with him. I think consistency, uh, trying to learn what the voice of the Lord sounds like in my life over time and then being bold and stepping out. Going to my, on my first retreat, um, I mean, this was only five years ago. I hadn't gone on a retreat until about five years ago and opening myself up to that opportunity. Uh, and after that, I began praying the rosary um, frequently. That's kind of how I think it all started, is just opening myself up. Um, something called like an appointment with God. And so making, like putting it in my calendar of when I'm gonna pray that day and treating it just like I would take any other business appointment. So whether like I'm meeting I have a meeting at work or I've got a phone call with someone at work, but just setting the appointment and like treating it like it's any other appointment in my day. It could be almost anything from the band practicing during adoration and the song being the song I needed to hear, or just kind of that epiphany after adoration where you're like, I'm dumb, I should have seen that days ago. And someone told me years ago, they're like, well, was this idea a good idea? I said, yeah, I think it was a good idea. And they're like, well, and doesn't every good thing come from the Lord? If it's, if it's not something holy, I know it's not from God. If, and, and we all have negative thoughts, and I know that's not from God. When he speaks to me, and, and it's not very often, I don't, I don't feel like I hear him here, but I, I hear him here. Sorry, there's a mic. Um, I, I hear him here. It's, it's just clear, it's in my heart, as if he were speaking in my heart and my head. Hmm, this is the one question I really didn't prep. I kind of waver on this. Uh, so like, like I said earlier, um, you have to make an appointment. You have to show up. You have to give God the opportunity. You have to be quiet. If you give yourself time, if you stay in the sacraments, if you read his word, and most importantly, I think, if you give yourself quiet, and sometimes that's in the chapel, and sometimes it's just, you know, alone by yourself. But at the same time, it's not all up to you. I think that the Lord speaks in his own time, and you don't have to force it. You don't have to build it up. You don't have to make it something unattainable, this like mountaintop. You can just give God the opportunity. And I would encourage you guys to just give God the opportunity to speak um, on retreat, but more importantly, every day. You will learn things about his love for you that you don't expect.